Hey guys, I am finally going to be reviewing The Giver by Lois Lowry. Um, I'm sorry about the craziness behind me. I am currently packing up everything because I will be moving at the end of this month. So I am sitting in a mess right now. There's boxes, books, clothes, just random stuff everywhere. So um, it, hopefully it won't be like that in future videos because... Yeah, because I'd be really sad if it was still this crazy. But anyways, so The Giver. I first read this book when I was in the fourth or fifth grade, and I loved it even then. Um, and I have been addicted to dystopian novels ever since. Uh, the Giver is about this boy named Jonas, and he lives in this uh, future that is supposed to be a utopian future, that there is no crime, there's no war, there's no greed, there's no hunger, everything is perfect, everybody has their place, place in life, um, every, but everything is assigned to them, there's no choices. There are, you know, the good po positive sides of that, but of course there are a lot of negatives. Um, like I said, they don't have any choices, they, even though they don't know any of the hardships of life, they also don't know any of you know, the great moments of humanity. Jonas, he is, it starts with him being a little bit worried about the ceremony of 12 because his future career will be given to him and he doesn't really know what he wants to do. And so he knows there's different jobs that he doesn't want to do, but he's kind of worried about what will be assigned to him. At the end of the ceremony, Jonas is called and he is given the career or the position of receiver of memories. He meets this older man who uh, calls himself the giver. And he, the giver has the memories of all throughout the history of all mankind. The giver has all these memories and he has, you know, the painful memories, but he also has the really joyful memories as well. And Jonas, his job will be to take on all of these memories because they there's only supposed to be one person in this community that has the, all of the memories of mankind. He understands the job and he understands the reason for why there might be only one person that has the memories. But by taking on the memories, he's realizing the underside of, of the world that he lives in. I'm not going to give any spoilers away. I'm not going to tell you the ending, which the ending... I'm surprised. I read it whenever I was younger, and I just recently reread it. And the ending affected me differently both times, which I love so much. It shows how um, great of a writer Lois Lowry is, how much her stories can affect you, and how just, I guess, different moments in your life that you're reading it, um, you take something different away from it. Because the way I thought that it ended when I was a kid, the way I read it, it, it was a more of a definite ending. And now reading it, later and I'm just thinking oh wow th this there I'm just putting I guess my own life in my own instances different moments that I've gone through into this this book and so which I love because each reader you know is going to come away with something different that's with every book you know you put yourself into anything that you read and you're going to have different emotions than other people are you know there's general motion emotions you know if someone dies you're going to cry or if like something's funny you're going to laugh but, you know, reading is more than just you reading off a page and just being like, oh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> you know, you, there's, it's, it's an interaction with the, the characters, with the author, with other people that you get to talk to the book about. It's the reason why I love to review books and why I love talking to you guys and just meeting book people. Whenever I was young and I read it, then I, uh, it kind of had made me see the world differently or see how the world could be different. And, um, it's just, it was a very strong book to read and it still is. It's a fast read. It's only 170 something pages. You can read it in a day, maybe even a few hours if you're a fast reader. Jonas is this, this character that you, you feel for that, you root for and you can't help but want to learn more about him and uh, the world building is amazing it's it was always changing and which was perfect for this novel because Jonas is constantly changing with the knowledge that he's learning and so it's a very smart novel that I think kids should read because it has them thinking about thinking about things differently 
or, you know, I love this book so much. Um, I plan on reviewing the others in the series because I uh, got the fourth and final book, um, the fourth and final arc of this. It's called Sun. And then there, this is the first one. The second is Gathering Blue and the third is Messenger. Then the fourth is going to be Sun. If you guys would like me to continue reviewing them, um, let me know and I will. If you would rather me review something else, I'll, you know, I'll also do that as well. Sorry this review is all over this place. It's, it's surprisingly hard to review this book for me because I do have such an attachment with it. But it is amazing. I, if you guys haven't read it, please do so. Let me know what you think. It is a really short read. And um, it's amazing. So good. And so, yes, I will talk to you guys later. Leave your comments below letting me know what books have really, you know, affected you. Because I want to give them a try. I want to see if, you know, I have read any of the ones that you felt really strongly over. But, yes, I um, guess I'll go back to packing. But, um, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.